BTV. Welcome back, Bears. I'm Mr. Cerner reporting from the BTV studio. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, and it's a day after the total solar eclipse. Cloudy conditions made it hard to see this incredible occurrence. Still, we all made it outside to at least get a glimpse of it. You did feel the temperature drop a bit, and it actually got a bit dark for a few minutes. We'll have to wait until August 23rd, 2044, for the next total solar eclipse that can be seen in the U.S. It's a while. Warby Parker is teaming up with Astronomers Without Borders to donate gently used eclipse glasses to distribute to educators and students around the world. So, if you have leftover glasses you wish to donate, bring them to the VPO. Now for star exam info. Emails for testing room assignments were sent to testing students, so check your email. Star EOC testing for English 1 is today. It's going on right now. And English 2 is Thursday. Bells will be off. Bears, you need to arrive at your dis at your designated testing room with your fully charged school-issued Chromebook and charger between 8.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. Be on time. Last week, district competition wrapped up with numerous Bears and Lady Bears track athletes, many who played volleyball, basketball, and football, qualifying for the area meet tomorrow at Hero Stadium. Go get more medals, Bears. Kudos to our Bears Choir for great UIL results. results. Varsity tenor bass, non-varsity treble, and varsity mixed choirs all earned sweepstakes last week. And varsity treble earned superior concert and an excellent sight reading. Way to sing, Bears. And here's another huge shout out to Tyler Laughlin and Sydney Reyes Duke, two CTE HOSA students for earning first place, best in Texas, emergency medical technicians. They are headed to international competition in June. Way to go, Bears. Kudos to our Brennan Marching Band for scoring straight once in UIL competition this past week. Way to play on. And our shout outs continue for seniors Lucy Radilova and Faith Hines, who won as the girls' double co champions at the Bernie Big 12 tournament, even after being rained out of the finals Saturday morning. Next up is just your competition. Also, congrats to Taylor Ross for being one of the three finalists for the SA Express News Player of the Year. And kudos to Bella Flemings for making the Express News Super Team roster. Congrats to our UIL academic district competitors who placed third or above. They made it to regionals at UTSA. For literary criticism, Gavin Smith placed first. And Brennan's literature criticism top team members, Gavin Smith, Zahira Monma, Jasmine Monet, and Nana Nana Nanami Buchanan also are in first place. Sorry about that. Kayla Moncrief placed first in social studies, and in accounting, Taylor Huang placed second, Kelly, with Kelly Barrera placing third in prose interpretation. Way to compete, Bears. Our Lady Bears had 14 hits and scored a 15-4 win over Warren this past Friday. Natalie Gonzalez was a winning pitcher. They have now won nine of their last 10 games. Let's get out to cheer them on today against Stevens in Northside Field 1 at 7 p.m. Aim for the fence, Bears. Ladies, I'm sorry. Last Saturday, our Bears, our Bears fell to MacArthur 2-1 in a non-district game. Bears baseball, that is. Today, they face off against O'Connor in Northside Field 2 at 7.30 p.m. BFND Bears on this district game. Seniors, have you been accepted to university, received a scholarship, or enlisted? If so, go to the school website to submit your acceptance or scan this QR code on this page. Let's wish our varsity guitar students lots of luck today at the Austin ISD UIL concert and sight reading competition. Play on, Bears. Finally, teachers, order your delicious lunch items from the BHS Cafe. Menu items include your choice of traditional tacos on corn tortillas filled with meat, topped with onions, cilantro, with a green lime sauce. Three for $9 or four for 11 Or try the chicken fajitas with, gold, with grilled veggies and flour or corn tortillas. Three for nine dollars and four for, and four for eleven dollars. Or try the cheese and jalapeno nachos for seven dollars. With beef or chicken nachos, it's ten dollars. Sounds delicious. For more information, contact Chef at Tony Capri, Tony Capriati at nisd.net. This is all I have for today. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ETV Bears. And if you missed any part of this podcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, please email me, Mr. Cerna, at fernando.cerna at nisd.net. I'm Mr. Cerna, sign off from BTV. Let's keep a positive mindset, stay engaged on learning, 
and continue to evolve every day. Remember, tomorrow we have an early release day. This is a VTV production.